and now we're going to discuss the bull squeeze and bear squeeze technical indicators in the CML Viz Pro trade machine. You enter your ticker in the upper left hand corner, select the strategy you want to test. In this case, we will be looking at owning a call, avoiding earnings during a bull squeeze. And here are the results from left to right, going from in the money to out of the money. It's important to note that with the squeeze, oftentimes limits and stops help improve the historical returns. So watch what happens when we add a 40% stop and a 40% limit to these back tests that have won three out of four times and where the return is no larger than 66%. We'll enter in our stops and our limits, and now we'll look at the exact same strategies. And now we can see that as we go further out of the money, the back test has won all four times and the returns are two times larger. We can do the same thing for a bearish squeeze. In this case, we'll look at Facebook buying a put, avoiding earnings, only when the bear squeeze occurs. And here again are the results with the highest win rates and the largest historical returns right around the at the money. As always, we can test this with multiple tickers at once. We'll look at buying a call, never trading earnings, doing a bull squeeze in four other tickers, Apple, Boston Scientific, Texas Instruments, Thermo Fisher Scientific. These are all S&P 500 constituents. And here we can see the results. You'll note that the squeeze does not occur very often, but when it does, it tends to be a strong signal. So it's only happened four times in three years with Apple. However, it has happened 13 times in three years in Boston Scientific. And as always, if we're looking for the companies that have performed the best historically with either a bull squeeze or a bear squeeze, we go to the pro scanner and look under buy strategy. We can select our ticker group as always. And now under the strategies for never trade earnings, we have added the bull and bear squeeze. Let's click on bull squeeze, sort by the number of wins. And now you can see the number of wins and losses, the win rate, the average trade return, the total back test return. And on the final column, we have the technical state. If something is waiting for a squeeze, that means essentially it is not active right now. When a stock is in a squeeze, it must be in a squeeze for at least three days. And we detail that on the discover tab. And you will see, for example, ticker HAS is now in its third day of a squeeze, which means that if it finds momentum tomorrow, either bullish or bearish, and if it breaks out of its technical low volatility area, it would be active as a backtest. Most of the time, we're going to see technical state of waiting for squeeze. Other times, we will see stocks that are in the squeeze and ready to break out. The same goes for the bear squeeze. We can sort by the number of wins. And if we come down and look at Amgen, we can see that Amgen's bear squeeze breakout started four days ago. So this one is likely already gone, but the technical state will tell you what situation a stock is in. For example, CSX is in a squeeze and it's been four days which means we're waiting for that momentum to break it out, or or stocks are already in the breakout of the squeeze mode, which means we've probably missed them. And then again, the final technical state, which is waiting for a squeeze. Coming soon, we will have intraday pricing starting at 12 noon Pacific time, three Eastern time, that will tell you the requirements for the stock closing price as to whether or not the technical signal has been triggered as of that day, which is to say, the scanner will turn into an intraday alert system. To look at a squeeze, we can always just click on the ticker. And in this case, in MNST, over the last three years, we've seen seven bear squeezes where buying a put is up 115%, even as the stock is actually up 26%. So we can now see the power of having a technical indicator that's both bullish and bearish. It allows us to have a portfolio of option trades that benefit whether the market goes up or down. For an explanation or really an understanding of what a squeeze means, a bull squeeze or a bear squeeze, you can click on the learn more link below the open trade when section, or you can just go to the discover tab and look under frequently asked questions. And we have an entire dossier on technicals and the TTM squeeze. If we tap on that link, we'll see a full description of what's going on, how we measure it, how it was discovered, what it means, why it hypothetically could work. A 30 second explanation goes like this. John Carter was one of the first people to note this pattern. And he explained that stocks tend to trade in a very tight range for maybe 80% of the time. And then when they break out of that tight range, they tend to move rather large up or down. He called that 80% the quiet period or the squeeze. And what we want to find are the times when the squeeze is ending and then identify if the move is up or down. In this dossier, we describe exactly 
how it works, but the general idea is to find the periods of time where stocks have been trading in a tight range and are breaking out of that tight range, and we use a momentum oscillator to determine if it's a bullish move out of the tight range or a bearish move.